Good evening. <laughs> Welcome back to Frugal Outdoors and myself, Dylan. And it is raining, raining big time. Finished work, I've rushed home as quick as I possibly can to get my gear. Supposed to be some more people coming to fish as well tonight, but whether they turn up or not, I don't know, because it is grim. But we're right on the bottom of the tide. We're at Norton Wall. It's super easy fishing, and we've got super strong westerlies at the moment. Westerly, southwesterlies, gusting 25. But as you can see in here, it's pretty sheltered here, because I've got all these trees behind me. So I'm gonna get set up. I've got a new rod. I'm really excited to use it. So I'm gonna get set up. I've got my brolly, so I'm gonna make myself a nice little base, a den, and, uh, and yeah, get fishing and show you what I've got. Uh, species tonight, anything really, I just like to catch a fish, it's been super, super slow. There's a lot of weed on the side, but it does depend on when it was fished, because when it ebbs here, it's really weedy. There's a lot of weed just there, which I'll show you. And uh, yeah, I mean, looking at the water, um, it looks really, really nice. So, a little bit of eel grass, it's cloudy. Yeah, let's get it on, let's get set up. Let's get a bait out there. Right, so we got you set up underneath the brolly, which is why it's dark. Hopefully if I stand out here, you can see. But I'm gonna get set up. Yeah, it's pretty brutal, but we'll give it a go anyway. Just wanna get a bait in the water, really. And I really wanna show you this rod. So I'm gonna quickly set a couple of bits up and then I'll bring you back. So, new rod, super dark. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we've got a new rod to try tonight. Not to try, I'm using it, I'm keeping it, I bought it, it's mine. Uh, still got the tag on it. It is the, I forget, it's the Daiwa Tournament Pro Surf. Uh, I managed to find it for 285, recommended retail is about 345, something like that. Depending on where you look, prices vary. Still got a bit of cellophane on it, needs to take off. It's super light, it's under 500 grams. And it's got quite a thin tip, but it is a four to eight casting weight. So I'm hoping it should cover quite a lot of bases. That's my plan. It's only 13 foot, 13 foot six actually, sorry. Uh, and so far, like I say, it looks great. The reviews I've read make it look great, which is why I've opted for it. Um, but yeah, how it performs is still, still up for debate. I know a lot of people don't like Daiwa. Um, they've sort of lost their way, a lot of people were saying. I don't really know. I haven't been around long enough fishing to, to know anything about it, other than I know it's a brand. I know it's a good brand. I know it's an old brand. And I know they're made in the UK. But like I say, I'll show you it in a second. I wanna have a couple of casts of it before I actually put a bait on. I know it's gonna cast differently. But yeah, hopefully it's got the sensitivity that I'm looking for. Because I really do like a sensitive tip rod. But it also needs to be able to whack out a six and bait when I need it to. So hopefully this will tick the boxes, but we'll find out in a bit. Right, so here we go. So I've got one rod set up, I've got the other one just with a six ounce lead because I want to have a cast for that first. But so just so I can get this one out, there's a two hook flapper, clip down just to get that extra distance. It's got a six ounce lead, little pop up bead there, it's little size, I think they're size four hooks, tiny little bits of squid, couple of beads there. So I just want to give this a good whack. Go on, Bill. Well, mate. <laughs> uh, that's on my Mag 4 mix ground. And that's uh, 16 pound with a tapered leader, 16 pound with a tapered leader, it's pretty snag free. There are potential of getting a snag here, but 
hopefully not too many. And like I say, in this is the Daiwa, which is super light. It's got some nice textured grips there to take the two two pieces apart. It's only a two-piece rod. Straight away, you can notice the eyes are exactly the same eyes that are on my pen, which I believe are the uh, Fuji K Wags, are they? Something like that. It's got the Daiwa reel seat, sliding reel seat. And like I say, it's a 13.6, and you can see there. It's not, I mean, it's not, it's not wafer thin, but it's definitely thin. I mean, having said that though, it's pretty similar to my pen, which is a mixed ground. So yeah, right, let's check this out. Just, is that right at the bottom of the pipe at the moment? Yeah? Yeah. Right, that one's out. Fair old distance, not mega. But I will try and drop the rods in a little bit. So at least you can see the tips. But I want to have a little cast with that other one now. Like I so said, I haven't cast it before, so it'll be the first chuck. So, fingers crossed it goes well. Wow, well, first impressions, what can I say? <laughs> Definitely flies, no two ways about it. I haven't cast that far with a six ounce lead. Bear in mind, it is plain, there's no bait on that, so. But it goes a long way. So I am gonna, I'm gonna bait it up now, at least then, I mean, I've got that bait out in, mozzies. I've got that bait in. Uh, and it looks like there's quite a bit of weed running through. It's right at the bottom of the tide. It's the first, normally the first hour of the flood, it can be quite weedy. Hopefully we can fish through it and it will uh, dissipate and disappear. But I'm gonna bait up another rig. Probably bait up two rigs actually and change that other one. Cause like I say, that one has, it's, it's just constantly pulling line. So I'm gonna bring it in, have a little freshen up and uh, yeah, see how we get on. Yeah, yeah, she's weedy all right. Pump, 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 pump it up. Yeah, it's all eelgrass. Like I say, we've had howling, howling winds. So I'm hoping it's just gonna be around for a little bit. It was like it the other night when we went fishing and then it kind of eased up. So I'm just, fingers crossed, it's gonna do the same. But it's a pain having to have a camera under the, under the, the uh, umbrella. So like I say, well, if I come in, it's not too bad, I've got the light on, but sometimes it's a bit dark, but hey ho, we'll have to live with it for a minute. I'm going to sort that out. <laughs> I'm going to chuck it back out, but I'm just going to chuck it in closer. Like I say, just give it a little 40, 50 yard. I just want to be fishing, to be honest, so as long as I'm fishing. And check this out. I can't see a bill, some chips. Right, let's do it. Well, I'm fishing with one rod at the moment. Uh, yeah, because I just recast with the dial. I didn't. I took the, basically. I took the rig off the other one. It's only been in the water for five minutes, really, uh, and just did a sort of I don't know, sixty yard, fifty yard. Um, but just had a what could have been a knock, but it's tripped the lead. Also, it could be weed, and it could have just been it springing back when the lead came out, like as it hit the weed. Who knows? But. Yeah, I think I'll fish with the one for a minute. It's some big old clumps of weed coming through, but it, it does look like it's slowing down already, so it's very wet. So I'm gonna sit down and eat some chips. Contemplate on what rig I'm gonna use next. Probably just a two-work again with the size fours. I'd like to try and get a bream. Got potential of bream, potential of hounds, potential of bass, potential of anything, really. I haven't got any ragworms. I mean, that sort of does limit my chances somewhat but 
just want to catch a couple of fish. I'll be happy if there's a couple of dogfish. I'm not really fussed. Fishing seems to be quite slow on the island at least. I mean, I, it, it's in pockets. If you're in the right place at the right time, you're going to catch some fish. So I just don't seem to be in the right place at the right time. But yeah, we'll keep plugging on anyway. Let's say I've only been fishing for about 20 minutes, half an hour. So, change your rig. Keep fresh, fresh bait going out. Let's get a fish. Yeah, definitely weedy out there. So, this is my next rig that's going to go out. Not the next one, I'm, I am actually going to chuck the second one out now. There definitely seems to be less weed out there. I've just accidentally cast that die over maybe about 80 ish yards very easily. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to chuck a pulley panel on the other rod. Um, six ounce lead again, splash down about a metre of rig body, that's 125 pound and an 80 pound snood at about 90 centimetres, quite a longish one, I don't normally make them this long to be honest uh, and I'm probably going to chuck a prawn and a bit of squid on that and see if there's a hound out there like I say, water is quite coloured so I don't know, I'm just fishing, I'm hoping to catch a fish, there we go, that's it I've got some mackerel, I've got squid, I've got a couple of prawns, and I've got a couple of crab. So anything we get is a bonus. So all I've done is I've basically just snipped the tail off the prawn, stop it from flapping around in the tide. I've taken the very, very sort of tip of the head, just the nose really, so there we go, and I've put it on my little prongs there, so that will stop it from, I can bind that on now with a bit of squid, and it should pretty much stay that shape, I can put my hook on it, bind it all on, all on the needle, and it should keep it pretty streamlined so I can give it a bit of a punch. Little dap out there. Well, rain's come in a little bit again, but it's not too bad. The sea is very, very still. I mean, it's it's moving, obviously, because the tide's coming in. But they're both out there. The, the weed is 100% definitely eased off. There's probably still a little few bits and bobs floating about out there, but it's nothing like it was. We've only been fishing for maybe an hour. So yeah, both rods out, got that prawn out there. I'm gonna bait up another little turret flapper with some squid in the hope that like, I can get a, uh, a bream and then yeah just keep fishing but it's all right I'd rather be doing this than sat at home anyway put it that way I've been itching to get out we were supposed to get out last night and we didn't because of the wind it was howling it was like 30, 30 miles an hour so I've just been sat at home making rigs last night ready for today so as you can see it is still raining raining quite hard I uh, managed to get the rods a little bit lower, but hopefully, like I say, this rain is due to stop, so as soon as it does, I can hopefully uh, get the camera outside so you can actually see the rods a little bit better and hopefully see the bite if we get one.
team. Look at that. Hey, that is on the pulley pedal with a 3-0. I thought it was a bloody hound. That's a cool thing, man. Look at that. On the panel hook. Beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Let's get that on foot. Well, that was unexpected. Well, not unexpected, because I wanted to bream. Is that right out? No, not really. Yes! We got one. It's a beauty size bream. Look at that. That was on a 3.0 pulley panel. It took the uh, 3.0 octopus hook. That was out for a hound. It's half a spider crab <laughs> and a bit of squid wrapped up it. But that is a beauty, beauty bream. I'm going to weigh him. And I had a little side bet with Jack at work today. He said, I bet you 10 quid you don't catch one. That's just won me 10 pounds and dinner. There we go. One pound 11. Epic. Oh, I'm buzzing. That's made my day. That is. That's exactly what I wanted. Right, I need to get that rigged up and get it back out. Yeah, we got some funny old tide tonight. So basically, it's eight o'clock anyway. That, and that's not, it's not cold, that's my vape. But it's, uh, it's eight o'clock. And uh, yeah, that tide has been, one minute it was raging to the right, next minute it's raging to the left, and now it's sort of back to the right again. I think it's one of the biggest tides, it's pretty much a full moon at the moment. And um, the buoy out there is virtually upright, and it should be tilting right over, so I think it's probably flooding itself out. There's so much water coming in, it's trying to get it back out at the same time which actually makes it for easy fishing because it's not pulling our rods over like it was. Weed is pretty much non-existent now as well, so that's nice. And I've got a nice bream, buzzing. So yeah, so I've got both rigs out at the moment with some squid on. Like I say, that one took a panel, um, which was meant for a hound. So I will bait up another one in a minute, chuck it out, not for a bream, but actually for a hound or a bass or something else. But I've been trying for a bream. <laughs> for probably the, every time I've gone fishing for the last two months and I finally got one so I'm chuffed and there we go as if by magic ta-da yeah it's stunning now well it's not stunning the sun's not out but it isn't raining anymore and it's actually really quite pleasant but like I say this tide is just going left right left right left right so all the weed that came through earlier and then we had like an hour of total weed free fishing. It's now coming back the other way. But, like I say, it's all right. I've christened the rod, that's the main thing. So I'm gonna go whack out another big crab and uh, squid bait in the hope of picking a hound or something different, maybe a bass. And, uh, and then, yeah, I can rebait that one and just keep chopping and changing. So at the moment, I'm just alternating between two at flappers and panels. See, that rod's going, but I think it could just be weed. Oh yeah. Picked up a big lump of weed. Yeah, absolutely massive bit of weed. But like I say, is that lens clean? Who knows? Uh, just gonna keep it in a little bit closer. Try and keep it out of it. It was super glassy earlier, but like I say, I mean, it, it's basically the tide's coming in, coming in left to right, but then I think it's just sort of swirling back around and it moves in and out, that sort of swirl. So, but yeah, we're both struggling at the minute to keep a bait on the bottom. Both fishing with six ounce leads. But we'll fish on through to the other side. I mean, that's probably 40 yards. Probably about 40 yards out, that is. If that. Yeah, so I just whacked it. Just to see what it would, what would do. <laughs> and it just flew straight to the left. Don't even think it hit the bottom. 
I mean, it's not very deep out there. I mean, out further out, maybe 20 feet or so. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, and there's always water, even at low tide. So, I mean, there's got to be a little bit of depth out there. But yeah, I mean, this one now is literally 40 yards and it's still swinging around, still dragging the lead on the bottom. But yeah, we'll keep fishing, we'll keep trying, keep trying for something else. Yeah, first impressions of that, uh, that Daiwa rod are very, very good. I've got to be honest. I mean, it's new, so it's always going to be nice to use, I think, even if it isn't as good as my previous rods. It's certainly not the same price bracket as my previous rods. It's got the same eyes. Uh, and it's a two-piece, so it's two pieces. I think are always a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, I mean that was just the easiest little flick, and it's probably gone about 70 yards. Uh, and when I'm punching it, I mean I haven't cast as far as I have with that rod, and I've, it's the first time using it. I am trying to change things up a little bit, but and like I say, it's no good here anyway. As soon as I whack it, it's straight in that tide. Whoosh, gone. So. To be honest, a little 60, 70 yard lob is perfectly adequate for this tide here at the minute. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. They both seem to be sitting there all right for a moment. Let's say it'd be nice to see one go again. Well, it's definitely quiet. <laughs> Seems to be the sort of standard thing to say at the moment. Like I say, we've had one bream between us, which is great, because it's what I wanted, but it'd be nice to get something else. It'd be nice if Bill can get something. Like I say, I'd be happy with the dogfish, to be honest, right now. It'd just be nice to see the rod tips move. But that light's starting to go now. There's a big old cloud coming over as well, so hopefully we won't get wet again. But I mean, I'm pretty wet through to be honest, but... So I'm going to freshen the baits up in the hope that we can entice something else. So I've got a um, crab and squid out there again at the moment and I've punched that as far as I can. Basically we're looking to see when the tide seems to slacken off and then we're trying to get some distance on it and then as soon as they start swinging we're drop, bringing them in closer. But yeah, nothing else yet. Whoa, just getting some really nice rattles again on the, uh, on the, on the dial rod again. Definitely look breamy, like bump, 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 like quite um, fierce, you know, quite attacking. Had a couple of knocks and nothing, then like three rapid ones and nothing again. Yeah. That's probably uh, probably my bait's gone. I'll leave it a minute, give it another two minutes, and then I'll change it. Well, I think that could quite possibly be the smallest, smallest strap conger I think I've ever caught. And it is a conger, it's not a European, it's absolutely tiny, so I need to get this little guy unhooked and straight back in. There he is. Tiny little thing, let's chuck it back in. Use that for bait, so small. Right, 
So, Bill's. How many times have we been out together, Bill? I don't know. How many times? <laughs> Quite a few times. And Bill hasn't. Well, he's had a dogfish before, and he's just pulled out this absolutely stunning, which I believe is an undulate. We're going to get the scales on it because that's a lump. Here we go, Bill. Ten pound three undulate. I believe it's an undulate, but if anyone can drop us a comment on the bottom just to let us know, he's absolutely stoked. <laughs> that's a big fish, mate. Well done. Happy days. Let's send her back for another day. Nothing for, a, for ages and then. Brilliant, mate. Oh, brilliant. Ten pounds three. What a lovely fish. I've left the scales down there. Woo. Right, ten pounds three. This weather has taken a massive turn for the worse. It's really, really heavy rain and the wind's right up. And to be honest, when I've got the camera and everything out, I just get a bit, a bit worried about it. So. We are going to knock it on the head there. So I'm in a tiny little, tiny, tiny little strap conga and a lovely bream, which is down here, which we'll take home. Bill's just had a stunning ray, £10.3, banging. So actually, it turned out to be an alright session. It's a bit slow, but we got some fish out in the end. I'm going to pack this lot up. So until the next one, please take care, stay safe, and maybe see you out there. Cheers. Shh.